This is Aurelio Paredes Bautista, and we are on our 16th lesson in the English language lessons. We shall be dealing with analysis of sentences, the big words, and some idioms. Listen carefully. This lesson is about analysis. The sentences you see here uh, come from a song, which I like very much. I think you also know this song, and a portion of the song uh, reads like this. Lay your head upon my pillow. Put your warm and tender body close to mine. Hear the whisper of the raindrops falling soft against the window and make, your, make believe you love me one more time for the good time. Now the first sentence, lay your head upon my pillow. There is that understood you because this is an imperative sentence. You lay your head. This is a noun, a direct object. And this is a possessive adjective. Upon my pillow is a prepositional phrase acting as an adverb to answer the question, where? Upon my pillow. Put your warm and tender body close to mine. Understood you is the subject. Put is the verb. Body is the simple subject. Your is a possessive uh, pronoun uh, as an adjective. Warm is adjective, tender is adjective, and end is a conjunction. Close is an adverb. To mine is a prepositional phrase. Uh, where, answering where, close to mine. That's the adverbial phrase here. Third sentence. Hear the whisper of the rainbow, raindrops, falling soft against the window. Now, this is a very beautiful song. Instead of saying listen, he said, the songwriter said, hear. Subject is under, understood you. The verb is hear or listen. Whisper is the noun. The direct object of the raindrops is a prepositional phrase denoting possession of the whisper. Raindrops whisper. Falling is the verb. Soap can be good in a song because the bar lines cannot accommodate all the syllables. But in speech, you, you have to say falling softly. That's an adverb of manner. Against the window is a prepositional phrase acting as an adverb to answer the question where? Falling softly against the window. The fourth sentence is make believe you love me one more time for the good time. This is a complex sentence. Like I told you, that sentence is a complex sentence, so I have to supply the words to make it clear so I can analyze and you will learn from it. And make believe you love me one more time for the good time, okay? Now, I supply the you and yourself and the word that, okay? Now, 
and you make yourself believe. That is the independent clause. Independent clause. That you love me one more time for the good time. I supply the that. This one, that you love me one more time for the good time is the subordinate clause. Now, uh, make is the verb. And yourself, I supplied it because this is a reflexive uh, clause. You make yourself, you make yourself believe, okay? So it's the same person making himself believe. You make yourself believe that you love me one more time for the good time. That you love me, you is the subject. Love is the verb. Me is the direct object. One more time is again. The same as again. That's an adverb of time. For the good time, that's the adverb of causality. The songwriter wrote and ellipsis, make ellipsis, believe ellipsis, you love me one more time for the good time. The subordinate clause is an elliptical clause. Now for the hand idioms, to be at hand, to be near, to have something in hand, that is a situation. To take something in hand, to deal with it, to get out of hand, out of control. To have time in hand, to have time to spare. Hand to mouth, spending as soon as it is earned. To keep one's hand in, to keep in practice. To have one's hand full, to have a lot of work. To win hands down, to win easily. To give someone a good hand, to applaud. To be quite a handful, to be unruly. To be an old hand, to be experienced. To have the upper hand, to have an advantage. To say something offhand, to say something without previous thought. To feed out of someone's hand is to do everything for another willingly. And now for the big words. Neurologist, a physician who specializes in the treatment of the nervous system. Neuro is nerve sinew. So that is the derivation of neurologist from the root word neuro. Benevolent, kind. Bene means good and volens means wish. Malevolent, wishing ill to others. Mal is bad and volens is wish. Benefactor, patron, a person who performs an act of kindness. Bene means good and fac is make. Malefactor, evildoer. Mal is bad and fact is make. Benediction, blessing. Bene is good, desire is to say. Malediction, curse. Mal is bad and desire is to say. Benefaction, a gift, a donation. Bene is good and fact is make. Factotum, from fact, make, one who can do many things. That's factotum. Maladroit, clumsy. Mal means bad and adroit is right hand. So he has two right hands, no left hands, so he's clumsy. Malefaction, an evil deed. Mal is bad and fact is make. Maliferous, bringing disease. Mal is bad and fair is to carry or bring. I made a slip of the tongue during the analysis. Tender body is not a subject, but a direct object. I'm sorry about it. 
This is Aurelio Paredes Bautista, and see you again.